We want to warn you, our top stories this noontime contain images of war. We have learned today that Americans are among the dead in the Hamas attacks in Israel. Now the U.S. is sending military planes and ships closer to Israel in a show of support there. NBC's Alice Barr reports from Capitol Hill. As the full scope of the deadliest attack on Israel in decades comes into focus. This is an attack that I don't think anyone saw coming. The State Department confirming that at least nine Americans have been killed, with more U.S. citizens still missing. <phone rings> Lawmakers briefed on the rapidly developing situation. Americans who managed to make it out of Israel describing scenes of horror. There were rockets above us all day. Israeli officials say at least 700 people have been killed in what they're describing as their nation's 9-11. Israeli airstrikes now hammering the Gaza Strip after the ruling Hamas militant group in Gaza attacked Israel on multiple fronts Saturday morning, raining rockets into Israel, while Hamas fighters infiltrated, in some cases by paraglider, as this video shows. A music festival in the Israeli desert, one of their first targets. 260 people were killed here, many more taken hostage. As the hostage crisis unfolds across the country, this Israeli father desperate to find his kidnapped wife and two young daughters. They are babies, and my wife, uh, they are my only family. The Defense Department announcing the U.S. is sending military assets closer to Israel to deter any further attacks. While U.S. officials are not ruling out using the assets to help one of America's closest allies in its fight against Hamas. There are growing questions about Iran's potential role in this attack. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said he has not yet seen evidence that Iran directed the violence, but that Iran and Hamas have had a long relationship. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News. And some new developments from northern Israel where defense forces say they killed several gunmen crossing the border from Lebanon. Israeli officials have warned locals to shelter in place or seek emergency shelters there. It is not clear if those gunmen were associated with Hamas or Hezbollah. Hezbollah is a militant group based in Lebanon that supports Hamas. 